Have you ever felt like you're different? Like you see the world from a perspective that others just don't understand? Maybe you're constantly pulled towards a deeper understanding of life, spirituality, and your purpose. If this resonates with you, then it's likely that you're among the chosen ones, those who are on a unique spiritual journey. But with this heightened awareness and inner calling, you may notice that your relationships, especially with friends and family, start to feel strained. You may wonder if it's time to make some difficult decisions. Walking away from the people closest to you might seem extreme or even unthinkable, but the spiritual path isn't always about comfort. Sometimes, in order to fully align with your higher purpose, you have to let go of those who aren't on the same wavelength. This doesn't mean you don't love them. It simply means you're prioritizing your spiritual growth, and that can require difficult choices. In this video, we'll explore why it's important for the Chosen Ones to sometimes distance themselves from friends and family, especially when they hinder your spiritual progress. Stay with me as I walk you through the reasons why, as a Chosen One, you might need to make these tough decisions. By the end of this video, you'll have a clearer understanding of your path and feel empowered to make the choices necessary for your spiritual journey. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos that will help guide you through your transformation. As a chosen one, your spiritual energy is precious. You might find that certain people around you drain this energy, leaving you feeling exhausted, confused, or even disconnected from your path. This isn't a coincidence. Many Chosen Ones are highly empathetic and sensitive, making them vulnerable to absorbing the negative energy of those around them. When you're constantly surrounded by people who don't understand your spiritual journey or who operate from a lower vibrational frequency, it can pull you down. Protecting your spiritual energy becomes a priority because it's what fuels your growth and guides you towards your purpose. Walking away from these draining relationships isn't about selfishness. It's about preservation. You need to be in spaces that nurture your energy, not deplete it. One way to recognize if someone is draining your energy is by paying attention to how you feel after spending time with them. Do you feel uplifted or do you feel emotionally and physically drained? If the latter is true more often than not, it's a sign that these relationships may be hindering your spiritual progress. For a chosen one, protecting your energy means setting boundaries, and sometimes that boundary is walking away entirely. Walking away doesn't have to be permanent, nor does it need to be done in anger. It can be a peaceful, conscious decision to step away from environments that no longer serve you. By doing this, you create space for higher vibrational relationships that will support your growth and empower your journey. Remember that protecting your energy isn't just about relationships with others. It's about everything in your environment, what you consume, what you focus on, and where you spend your time. The more you prioritize your energy, the more aligned you will become with your higher self and the easier it will be to continue on your spiritual path. Sometimes the people closest to you can unintentionally hold you back from your spiritual path. This can be subtle like constant skepticism about your beliefs, or more overt, such as discouraging you from following your spiritual practices or dreams. It's important to recognize these signs so that you can make informed decisions about the role they play in your life. Friends and family often come from a place of love, but their inability to understand your journey can lead to feelings of isolation. As a chosen one, you're being called to evolve in ways that others might not be ready for. While they may have good intentions, their lack of spiritual alignment can hold you back from reaching your full potential. It's crucial to pay attention to the patterns in your relationships. Are they supportive of your growth, or are they constantly questioning, ducting, or even ridiculing your beliefs? If you find yourself feeling smaller or less confident, or unsure after interactions with certain people, it may be time to consider stepping back. This is not about blaming them. It's about recognizing the dynamic at play. You are evolving, and not everyone will evolve with you.
It can be painful to acknowledge this, but it's necessary for your personal and spiritual development. Sometimes, walking away is the most loving thing you can do for yourself and for them. In many cases, creating distance allows for both you and them to grow in your own ways. They may not understand your journey now, but as you step into your higher self, they might begin to see the transformation and respect your path. Either way, you must prioritize your spiritual journey above all else. Solitude is often viewed negatively in society, but for a chosen one, it's a vital part of spiritual growth. When you walk away from draining relationships, you create space for deep introspection and inner work. Solitude allows you to connect with your higher self without external distractions or influences, and this connection is key to understanding your purpose. In solitude, you can reflect on your spiritual journey and listen to your inner voice. The noise of the outside world, especially from friends and family who may not understand your path, can drown out this voice. By stepping away, you allow your intuition to guide you more clearly, helping you make decisions that align with your higher self. Many spiritual teachers and enlightened individuals speak of the transformative power of solitude. It's in these moments of being alone that you discover who you truly are beyond the roles you play in relationships. This doesn't mean you'll be alone forever, but this period of solitude is necessary to shed the layers of conditioning and expectations that others place upon you. Embrace this time of being alone. It's a sacred opportunity to deepen your spiritual practice, whether that's through meditation, prayer, journaling, or simply being present with yourself. In this space, you'll begin to notice the subtle shifts in your energy, the expansion of your consciousness, and the deepening of your connection to the divine. Ultimately, solitude is a gift, not a punishment. It's a time for you to align with your true purpose, free from the distractions and expectations of others. The more you embrace this space, the more you'll see it as an essential part of your spiritual evolution. One of the most powerful aspects of walking away from unsupportive relationships is that it creates space for new, divinely aligned connections. When you let go of those who are not on the same spiritual wavelength, you open the door for higher vibrational people to enter your life, people who will support, uplift, and understand your journey. The universe is always working in your favor, even when it feels like you're losing something or someone important. By walking away from relationships that no longer serve you, you signal to the universe that you are ready for something greater. This can be an incredibly liberating experience as it allows you to trust that the right people will come into your life at the right time. As you evolve spiritually, you'll attract people who resonate with your higher vibration. These divine connections will feel effortless, supportive, and aligned. You'll find that these relationships help you grow even more, pushing you to new heights and encouraging you to stay true to your spiritual path. It's important to remember that not all connections are meant to last a lifetime. Some people are in your life for a season to teach you lessons or to help you through a particular phase. When that season ends, it's okay to let go, trusting that new connections will come when the time is right. Walking away from old relationships can feel lonely at first, but it's part of the process of spiritual growth. The universe will fill that space with the people, opportunities, and experiences that align with your higher self. Walking away from friends and family can be one of the hardest decisions you'll ever make. But as a chosen one, you must trust that there is a divine plan at work, even when it's difficult to see. Everything you experience on your spiritual journey is happening for a reason, and sometimes that reason involves letting go of people who are not meant to continue with you on this path. Trusting the divine plan means surrendering control and having faith that the universe knows what's best for you. It can be challenging to accept that certain relationships are no longer aligned with your growth, but this is where faith comes in. 
The universe always has your highest good in mind, even when the path ahead seems uncertain. When you trust the divine plan, you'll start to see the synchronicities and signs that confirm you're on the right track. This might come in the form of new opportunities, insights, or relationships that support your journey. The more you let go and trust, the more you'll experience the flow of divine timing in your life. It's normal to feel fear or doubt when walking away from people you love, but remember that the universe is guiding you towards something greater. By releasing what no longer serves you, you allow space for miracles to unfold. Trusting the divine plan is about knowing that everything happens for your highest good. Even when it's difficult, it's all part of the greater spiritual journey you are on. As a chosen one, your journey is unique, and not everyone will understand it. Walking away from friends and family who no longer align with your spiritual growth is one of the most powerful decisions you can make. It allows you to protect your energy, embrace solitude, and create space for divine connections. Trust that the universe is always guiding you, even when the path is difficult. If this video resonated with you, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more spiritual insights and guidance. Stay true to your path and remember, you are never alone on this journey.